Hi, my little brothers and sisters. Uh, today I have a message about sin and about uh, uh, repentance and about uh, overcoming sin. And uh, before I do, let's just pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you, God, that you give us everything that we need uh, to overcome. And you told us to go and sin no more. And uh, you told us to uh, uh, follow after you and to repent of our sins and so and to turn it back on the world. And so if you told us these things, that means that uh, you didn't tell us something we couldn't do. You told us something we could do. And so we uh, trust you to give us all that we need to overcome sin in Jesus' name. Amen. So, you know, now... I want to start off this message by saying that, um, you know, nowadays there is a currently a renaissance or a renewal or revival on deliverance. And you'll see deliverance all over. It's very uh, um, common nowadays. And uh, that's good, you know. Um, back in the mid-2000s when I first got saved, nobody really knew deliverance or talked about deliverance very often. There was very few deliverance ministers. You could find some Derek Prince and stuff, but it wasn't. But now it's very trendy, and it's very, uh, it's very happy, and it's probably for the best because, you know, demons are all over, and it's good for the church to wake up to deliverance and to learn uh, how to operate in it. But I personally have some um, different views on the types of deliverance ministries going on, and I see, in my opinion, some errors and stuff like that. But I'm not going to call anybody out because that's not what this message is about. But what I will say is that um, uh, there's a lot of deliverance going on that I see now that I don't necessarily see in the Bible. And people will be seeking deliverance for sins that they're struggling with to overcome and stuff like that. And I do understand that the demon will get in to involved in your life and tempt you. I mean, this is just facts. You know, demons tempt everybody. This is what they do. But, uh, you know, a lot of times you can find yourself in a trap of seeing the sin that you are stuck in as being a manifestation of a demon to the point where you will not take ownership and responsibility for your sins. And this is a trap of the devil. If you are struggling with a sin, you cannot tell God that the devil made me do it. He is not going to hear that. God wants to hear you take ownership and responsibilities for your sins yourself and repent of them. And when you repent of them and when you come to the Lord sincerely and turn away from your sins, the Lord is able to, by his Holy Spirit, come and deliver you from the sins that are holding you back and cause you to walk in his paths, cause you to keep his commandments. The Holy Spirit is able to do that by the Spirit. He can do that. But if you tell yourself in your mind that you are struggling with sins because the devil made you do it, you are giving Satan more power to you than he is entitled to. You are, you are giving him power over you when you believe that the devil made you do it. Yes, the devil may have tempted you to do it, okay, but the devil didn't make you do anything. And I don't care what the story is. And this is my opinion. Now, sure, you can have demons involved in your life that are, that are pushing you um, hard towards sin. <clears throat> but you can still resist them as well. There is no excuse for you when it comes to sin. So, you know, it's like, it's like uh, it says in the Bible. <clears throat> you know, no, none of you have resisted sin to the point of blood. You know, so you can resist the devil. You know, it's not like the end of the world. If you have, if you have something gnawing away at you, you need to, you need to cheat or you need to lie or you need to sin or you need to do any other sexual things. You know, that's coming at your mind and stuff like that. You do not need to, uh, to to um, blame it on anybody else. You can overcome it. Your you can overcome it when you do repent and when you have a repentant heart. You know, and also look in the Bible when it comes to deliverance. Was Jesus going around casting demons out of people struggling with habitual sins? Did Jesus ever cast, oh, you, you're, you're struggling with uh, a sexual addiction, or you're struggling with lies. Come over here, buddy. Let me cast the demons out of you so you can live holy. No. No. Jesus casted demons out of people that had problems like in their mental or their or they were throwing themselves in the fire, or they were, uh, you know, 
Like, maybe if you have, like, a drug addiction or something like that, or it's something that you might need. But if, if you're struggling with a habitual sin, Jesus did not go around casting, delivering people from, from so that they can overcome sins. Jesus gave the Holy Spirit and so that the Spirit can come into our lives and lead us in the ways of righteousness so that we can overcome sins. And I'm somebody who believes when it comes to deliverance, and I've only heard a few ministers talk about this, but I believe that when you repent, if you have demons that are in your life or involved in your life, when you repent of your sins and when you turn from your sins and when you give yourself fully over to the Holy Ghost for him to sanctify you and make you holy, then you are simultaneously drowning out Satan's hold over you in that area to where as you resist and as you yield to the Holy Ghost, Satan loses all power over you and the temptation gets weaker and weaker over time until eventually you have built a uh, fortification against it and you, you are no longer as weak to those temptations as you were and Satan's gift of you is totally gone. So that you can totally, uh, so that you can totally dry Satan out by resisting his uh, his temptations to you over time as you continue to resist and you continue to remain steadfast. Every sin that you're struggling with is not some demon you need to get cast out of you. Every sin that you're struggling with is a matter of you repenting and giving your heart and soul to Jesus Christ for him to give you the Holy Ghost so that you can walk in holiness and overcome the sins. None of the apostles and none of Jesus Christ went around casting demons out of every single buddy, every single sinner. And blaming all the sins on Satan. God made every single person who repented take full responsibility for their selves. And that's my message. You need to take full responsibility for every sin that you do and repent and trust the Holy Spirit too. And, and, and if you're struggling, if you're struggling to overcome something, just don't give up. Don't give up hope. Keep pushing. You know, there's a lot of mercy with God. He will work with you, but make sure in your heart and in your soul, your motivation is to... Uh, you know, get, live in holiness, you know, and live in a righteous, right, the right path, you know, make sure your motivation is to walk in holiness, okay, and if you're struggling, don't, just don't lose hope, I'm not here to shame anybody or make anybody feel guilty, I know we all have struggles, but what I am saying is don't give up the fight, don't give up the hope, and continue to remain repentant in your heart and make sure your repentance is sincere every time you fall, and eventually you'll get the victory, when you trust the Holy Spirit to give you the victory, and when you trust the Lord Jesus Christ to make you holy, as the Jesus Christ lives in your life and you yield your life over to him to sanctify and purify you over time. Continue to fight. Don't blame Satan for your fault. Don't do that. That's not of God, and it's going to get you all messed up, and it's going to give Satan more power over your life, and it's not biblical. So don't do it. You take, take ownership for your sins and trust the Lord to deliver you from everything you struggle with. You know? Casting a demon out of you is not going to make you holy. It's not. Only the Holy Spirit is going to make you holy. It doesn't have anything to do with casting demons out. It has everything to do with Jesus Christ delivering you from delivering delivering you from your sin by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one that comes in and just sets you free and breaks every chain. You know, even Jesus said, "I don't cast out demons myself, but it's the Holy Spirit." The Holy Spirit comes in and slices every chain in your life. Don't ever put the focus on the devil when you're struggling. Always put the focus on the Holy Spirit when you're struggling. And come to him and resist. Resist. And you will get the victory when you turn to the Lord and trust him. So this is my message. Don't, you know, the, the, devil, the devil made me do it doesn't work with God. And I'm just saying this in case anybody here has that mindset because I know, I know that with deliverance going on and with people seeing demons claiming responsibility for people's sins... You might get caught in a trap of thinking that you can blame the devil for your sins. Don't do that. You know, that doesn't work that way. So you take responsibility for it, and God will give you freedom over time as you yield to him and allow him to sanctify you and make you holy in your life. Just do that. Trust the Lord to make you holy, you know. Don't trust the demon coming out of you to make you holy, but trust the Lord to make you holy in your life. And he will as you repent and live a repent life. So I love you guys, and I bless you guys in Jesus' name. I pray you all have a good day. Amen.